Hi, I'm Tom Stickney, Golf Digest Top 50 International Teacher, and welcome to Poop to Me to Golf Academy. And if you're like me, you've been quarantined, you're bored out of your mind. Oh man, look at this thing in. So I'm going to give you a couple drills that you can do at home so you can have some fun, improve your golf game, and try to not drive yourself nuts. Well, obviously putting is a very, very important part of the game, and there's nothing worse than having a seven foot putt standing over and just knowing that you're not going to make it. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the factors that go into putting and things you can do in your house that would really, really improve your putting regardless of where you play, regardless of how fast the greens are, and something that will help you uh, when the courses open back up and you can get on the greens. Well, when we stand up to a putt, obviously we've heard from a million years that the hands need to be out of the stroke. We need to make sure that we're not bouncing around and using our hands. Okay, but what people don't tell you is what the individual roles of the hands are. Well, the first thing you need to understand is that your lead hand controls the face of the putter. And 83% of ball error is controlled by the face. So if you can't control your ball's starting direction, then you have lost control of the face. All right, so here's a great drill. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choke up about halfway on my putter. And all I'm going to do is use my left hand only to make some strokes. And what you can see is if I can make decent strokes without the putter bouncing around, and I can control where the golf ball is going, and I can control my starting direction, then I have a very good control of the face angle of the putter. And so this face angle is vitally important. And so if you can control your lead hand, you will be able to control the face. And that particular drill works whether you have a normal grip, a cross-handed grip, or the claw, or even a long putter, you know, that you're not angling, so to speak. Now, the second part of putting talks about your rear wrist, okay? And when you hold on to the putter, there's a certain bend in your rear hand, okay? This particular bend controls the loft of the putter. Okay? And we know that the putter has a certain amount of loft. And everybody's putter usually comes out of the factory at four degrees. Now sometimes we alter those based on how your mechanics work, but let's just use four degrees as an example. So if I come in here and I slap at it, so to speak, and I change the angle of this right hand, I am adding loft to the putter in addition to changing the face angle. But if we just look at the loft, if you think about your 56 degree wedge versus your 60 degree wedge, if I add loft to my 60 degree wedge, what's gonna happen? The ball's not gonna go as far. If you add loft to your 56 degree wedge, you turn it into a 60 degree wedge. So the same thing happens with your putter. So if I'm trying to hit this putter a certain distance and I change that angle, all of a sudden, the ball, the putter goes like this, the ball launches in the air, it backs up, hits the ground and starts to roll. So all of a sudden I'm creating backspin. And when you look at it on the microscopic level, the ball comes off, starts bouncing, we lose control of the ball. So what we're gonna do with the right hand is there's a V form between the putter grip and my right wrist. There's a bend in my right wrist. All I'm going to do is work on practicing putts and hitting putts and not controlling them and making sure we control this and not lose control and slap at it like this. If you do that, you're changing the law of your putter. So the left hand controls the face, the right hand controls the law, and what you're gonna find is you're going to be better and it's going to feel more comfortable. You might be a left arm puller or you might be a right arm pusher. It really doesn't matter. But one of the hands is going to be more dominant. And when one of the hands is more dominant, that's what you're going to use to control the putter when you put both hands on there. Me personally, I'm more of a right hand pusher. I'm not a big left arm puller. So for me, when I set up to it, I focus in on keeping this angle constant, keeping this V constant. And when I do that, now I can focus in on driving the putter and controlling the putter with my right hand. And if I can do that with both hands on it, I should A, control my face angle, B, control the loft. And if I can do that, I'm gonna hit the ball more effectively, I'm gonna have better speed control, and I'm gonna have better line control. So remember, when you're home, when you're bored, practice using putts 
to control the face angle by using just your left hand or control your putts with your right hand so you can control the wall. When you put both hands on there together, you'll find one hand will be more dominant and that's the hand you're going to use to control your putts. So if you'll work on those things in your house, I'll promise you, you'll be much better and you'll be a much better putter when it's all said and done and you'll thank me for it. So enjoy your quarantine as best you can. Practice your golf game and remember, once everything's said and done, the world's back to normal. Come see us at Punta Vita.